Back in 1996, a Labour government abolished fees. And in that year, the reg fee of 150 punt was introduced. And since then, every single year, bar one, the reg fee has gone up. And now, as you're all well aware, we have a student contribution fee of 2,000 euro. We are now facing, obviously, the most difficult economic time that we've ever faced as a country. And students have already been hit massively. We've seen cuts to the grant, cuts to uh, uh, student welfare and disability services, and cuts across the board to our universities and ITs. In February of this year, Rory Quinn and the Labour Party signed a pledge, similar to the way the Lib Dems did in the UK, to, to pledge to not introduce third level fees, to block any, any uh, raising of third level fees or the student contribution, and committed to reversing the decision to add 500 euro, to bring it up to 2,000 euro. A few days ago, on the 19th of October, USI and students' unions across the country started receiving letters like this one. This is the first one that came back to us. And in it, it states that Labour are no longer committed to keeping that pledge. What that means for us is that nothing is off the table. We, we are likely facing an increase in third level fees. We may be facing a full third level fee introduction. This government and the previous government are consecutively letting students down. And if we do not act now, our voices will not be heard and will not be acted upon. It's time to say enough, and that's why we are launching this campaign. That is why we are not afraid to go to any measure to ensure that we stand up for the rights of students. Students are the future of this country, and we need to prove that. Students have faced times like this before, and we've been completely written off by the media. We've been written off by other unions, we've been written off by colleagues, we've been written off by universities, staff and presidents. But we have succeeded. Because at the end of the day, we stand by the cold hard truth and fact that education is the saviour of this country. Education has served this country in the past and it will continue to do so. But we need to protect it. And every single one of you is key if we are going to have a chance of doing that. Thanks. In 2004 we were told fees were inevitable and we marched and the notion was dropped. In 2008 we were told the public finances were so bad, fees again were inevitable. Students marched and fees were not introduced. Because of the actions of those who have come before you, and a huge number of students, parents and families who have taken to the streets and campaigned time and time again when a government has tried to introduce fees, many of you guys are, are privileged enough to be here today. Many of your families don't have as much of a burden, and many of your parents are not carrying as much of a debt. Don't tell me campaigners don't matter. Don't tell me that campaigns don't work. And don't tell me that students receiving the Student Support Fund don't matter either. Because this time last year we were told the Student Support Fund that is such a vital sense of support for many, many students across this university was going to be cut, and it wasn't. Over the last number of years, since the free fee scheme was introduced in 1996, the registration fee, now called the student contribution, has increased 14 times. And on every single one of those occasions, the minister announced on a Monday that the registration fee would rise. On a Tuesday, the president of the university got a letter from the HEA saying that their funding would be cut by the same amount. Fees do not work, they never have worked. They haven't worked in any country that they've been introduced in, and they will not work in Ireland. A week ago, our nation chose a man of the highest integrity to be our president and first citizen, with the biggest mandate in the history of the state. On the issue of fees, he said, not less than 18 months ago, and I quote, it is an issue about our democracy and the republic we wish to live in, where mothers and fathers can tell their children, always aspire to be what you want without the burden of fees. And that's something that we all need to stand up for. Education and universities should not be the playground of the rich and the wealthy. The only barrier to entry to education should be your academic ability, not how big your wallet is or your parents' wallet is. We need every single body to dig deep for the next two weeks, help us spread the word, volunteer with the campaign, email your TD, call your TD, visit your TD, and most importantly, join the students of Galway, Cork, Kerry, Waterford, and all across the country in our march on November 16th. And I leave you with a message that should ring out loud and clear in the Department of Education, in the Department of Finance, and in Government, and in every single TD, TD's office across this nation this evening. We will not be lied to, and not a single cent more is appropriate. Students are already being forced to drop out with a €2,000 fee, which is already the second highest level of fees paid by any student anywhere in the EU. There is a myth in this country that we have a free education. We don't. A free education is something we need to fight for, but we need to start here by ensuring not a single cent more is added on to the, onto the contribution on budget day, and not a single cent more is taken off our grant. Thank you very much. This pledge here. The pledge, we're, we're not adding, they were pledged not to increase education fees one cent 
Not one, I'll quote in fact. I, Mary Quinn, education spokesperson for the Labour Party, here pledge that if elected, we will oppose and campaign against any new form of third level fees, including student loans, graduate taxes, and any further increase in the student contribution. Now, in the lead up to that election, thousands, tens of thousands of students registered to vote. And they did so on promises such as that one. They did so on the promises that they were made, that they would be protected, that their education would be number one priority. We've been getting responses, huge amount of responses over the last week. This is just a stack of some of the letters and emails that we've gotten back. And they all say the same thing. They all say, we regret the need for cuts in education spending. Unfortunately, no area can be protected and we have no option but to accept the new changes and the reality that is our country. And we all have to accept cuts. There's a letter going around. This is one of my personal favourites, actually. Uh, when we started writing to them, the party came together and they more or less said, uh, we need a response to this. And a response was sent out by the media officer of Fine Gael to all the Fine Gael TDs. But more or less saying, listen, we know you're under pressure and we know you're getting a lot of uh, emails from your constituents at the moment. And here might be a good point to say back to them. Uh, this particular TD forgot to copy and paste the part that he was supposed to take out and instead just sent us back what he was sent. Um, <laughs> as you may be aware, the Union Students Council has begun its pre budget campaign. Here's more or less something you should send out to them. Um, it's important for you to know this campaign, it's important that you look at this campaign, that it's not about me or you, or if I can afford education tomorrow or in September 2012, if I can afford a massive hike in the registration or the student contribution fee. And it's not about if you can, and it's not about if you know someone that can, or if you think maybe we should have fees or we shouldn't. It's about the people that you're in college with. It's about your classmates. It's about the people that sit next to you in lectures. The people that you go for coffee with lunch and lunch with. The people that are in your tutorials with you. The people who I guarantee you, a huge portion of them, can't afford fees. On the 16th of November, we will march. We will march on government buildings and we will say no. We are not accepting this. We will not accept government lies. We will not accept government crippling our education. And enough is enough. And then we're going to sleep out as well to drive the message home. And from there, if they don't get the message, we're going to escalate. We will not be afraid to be tough with a government that have lied to us. Lied to us in pre-election and are lying to us again now. We will not accept it. And I hope that you'll be a part of the campaign. In fact, I need you to be a part of the campaign. So do be a part of the campaign. Get involved with us. And we will win. We will stop fees. We will stop fees if you're part of it. But you all need to be part of it. And everybody else needs to be part of it too. So you need to bring them into it. Thanks.